Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Good evening and happy Thursday. I don't know what difference it makes, what day of the week it is. For those of you that are still working though, it does matter. And if tomorrow is your Friday, I'm happy for you and bless you and thank you for your service to everybody in the country, right? Gosh, I see so many people popping on here. I hope you guys had a good day. Um, I had kind of a clustery day. Like, I feel very discombobulated today. I couldn't get it together. And some days are just like that. Um, I just kept doing a lot of nothing. Like, I've been working all day long, but I don't feel like I've really gotten anything accomplished. <laughs> Sometimes that's the story of my life. I can spin some pretty good circles. Um, this is my newest kit class that goes live tomorrow and uh, it's going to be using the dress to impress bundle the beautiful designer series paper called best dressed and we've got these little dudes they're really fun ribbon to match the whole suite these little um, scallop envelope -y card things called dress best dress three by three note cards and envelopes are super cute. And can you see what I have done in here? No, you can't. You can't see it. No, because I don't have anything done. <laughs> and if Ashley is watching, Ashley is my partner in this kit class every month from um, Canada, and this is what I have accomplished, Ashley. This is honestly what I have done. I have stamped some lipsticks and they're really going to be cute at some point. <laughs> some point before I go to bed tonight because our blog hop goes live tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. Central Time. And I will have it done because that's what I do. <laughs> but I have nothing accomplished, just nothing. Um, I answered a lot of emails today, so that was good. And I had some online class sales. I got those out. Hi, Haley. Hi, Kathy. Kathy's on here. Um, I'm sure maybe Brooke will be popping in, but Kathy and Brooke and Haley are both my help, all three of my helpers. And I sent an email off to Kathy. She's going to start on um, some, some die cutting and punching for me for classes, kit, for kits. And then... I sent some other stuff home with Brooke today to do some die cutting for me for kids. And uh, Haley took the day off today. I let her take the day off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Um, she took the day off today because Jared had off work today. And they went and had another doctor's appointment. And um, things are coming along. Um, there's not a heck of a lot to report that I'm, I think, tastefully allowed to report to you, but everything is good. She's doing well. Um, Jared is doing well. And they actually came over for breakfast this morning. And that's the only place Haley's been going is here. So yeah, that was nice. I made Texas French toast, you know, Texas toast, French toast and sausage patties. Haley said she didn't care for the taste of them. So we won't buy those again, but I don't really care what kind of sausage I'll eat anything. I just had one of Denise's chocolate chip nut, I think there's nuts in them, coconut cookies. So that was good because I was hungry. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm hungry and I'm going to be on live here in a minute. And who knows how long this will last. <laughs> so I thought I'd better grab a little snack. Um, hi, Sharon. Welcome. We see Jeannie coming in. Good deal. So I had a little visitor today and it was really quite interesting and super, super cute and sweet. But it's like, what do you do when somebody comes and rings your doorbell? So I went to the door and opened the door and it was really funny because it was one of my team members, Sherry Smolinski, and she backed away from the door immediately and we kept our distance and she showed up with three different packs of fingernails. Ah, you guys are really taking pity on me and my horrible nails. I just got another fingernail off. So, um, oh, that one's, oh, that whole hand is good now. Well, it's not, I would, it's far from good, believe me, but no more fingernails on this hand. I still have three left on this one, so I'll work on them, but she brought me these, and she said, which ones do you want, and I picked these. I thought they were really pretty, and then she said, use this glue, 
not the glue that comes in here. And she says these last at least a week. So when I get a little bit of time, I may have some pretty nails for you guys. I know that it's been bothering you, right? <laughs> yeah, I see Vicki just popped on here. Vicki is another one of my team members. We were emailing back and forth today. I'm helping her with some photography tips. So that was fun. And uh, what else is happening? Oh, um, I got some cards in the mail. I actually had a couple cards yesterday too to show you and I they were under my desk and I completely forgot. So I'm going to do that. This is from my good friend, Sue Molden. She always sends cards and she is the sweetest person. Um, Sue says, have I told you how wonderful your commitment to daily projects is? You rock. Thanks, Sue. And Kate, in these days of the pandemic bug, she's always so punny. <laughs> I thought you might appreciate this little sweet bug who's delivering smiles and hugs. And couldn't we all use those these days? Take care. Love and such. Smolden. Thank you, Sue. This was really sweet. I loved it. Um, I also got a beautiful card. Let me see who's this coming from. This is from D, and D is one of she's one of my newer team members, and I just adore her. Look at how pretty that is. That uses the ornate garden suite, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous, and look at the inside. Holy cow! Very, very pretty. I love, love the inside. And Dee says, thank you so much for sending me the Absolutely Argyle 3D embossing folder. She was one of our winners on a Facebook Live recently. She said, I was so excited when my name was picked. The highlight of my year so far. <laughs> Thanks, Dee. I'm glad. And uh, thank you also for being you, for your positive outlook on life, your humor, and your, your love that you show for others is so refreshing. You are always here to help all of us when we need help, and you give it so freely. I just know you have a twin. I wish. Um, you pack more into a day than one person could. LOL, you're the best. <laughs> I wish I could, like, I wish I could twin myself and make that one work really hard and stay focused. <laughs> Thank you, Dee. You're the sweetest. Um... Next, we have a card from June Franco. I know her family can sometimes hear when she's watching me and they like flip out when I say her name. This card is from June Franco. And I love doing that. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Look at all the bling. I love, love, love it. So June says, thank you so much for all the videos and the chat we had the other day it was fun and uplifting for me. I can't wait to get the gems I won. And I did mail out her gems and look at how pretty this is. Yeah. Bling, bling. June, love your card. It's beautiful. We also have, I also got a card in the mail today. Look at some more bugs. I got a card in the mail from my Aunt Janet. And it's really funny because my mom is the oldest of eight and I am the oldest grandchild um, on her side of the family. And my Aunt Janet is married to the second from the youngest of my mom's brothers. And so she's only like maybe two or three years older than me, but I call her Aunt Janet anyways, because it's kind of funny. Anyways, she made this card for me and isn't that sweet with that little ladybug set? And she says, thanks so very much for the stamp set. We'll have lots of fun with it. Her and her mom, Arliss, is on my team. So look at how sweet that is. And then she said, love Aunt Janet. I love it. So it's kind of my little joke with her because she's not old enough to be my aunt. Um, then I got a card from my sweet friend, Esther Bethke. And I don't hear from Esther a lot. I used to teach classes at Hobby Lobby in our town nearby here many years ago. And I taught stamping classes there. And Esther, I believe that's where I met Esther. And every year she sends me a birthday card. And it's been years since I've seen her. She's the sweetest. I got this card from her. And isn't that, look at, look at that watercolor. It's so, so pretty. I love the white embossing on the white watercolor. Maybe we'll have to do something like that soon because it's just so striking. And Esther says, thank you for your daily posts, which brighten my day and give me something to think about other than the pandemic. 
Over the years, your weekly jokes have also been a bright spot. God bless you and your effort. And look at how she did the wrapped the string in there. Isn't that nifty? I love that. Yeah, pretty cool. Thank you, Esther. It is so good to hear from you, and I hope you are well and keeping yourself safe, as I do all of you, of course. Then I got this beauty, and I have to show you. Look at the inside the envelope. The thing is completely lined. Like, that's a lot of lined envelope, right? This is from Janine Glitter. No, nope, let me say it right. Janine Gitter. And look at how pretty this is. Holy cow, right? And then the really cool part, well, it's all cool, but look at, she put the die, she, she die cut the front of this card. Okay, maybe you missed that part. She die cut the front of this card, so she took the designer paper and put it back here, and it's, it's like a little holder for her letter. Isn't that just genius? But look at how pretty, look at that bling, woo! And then here is the inside of the card. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. And Janine sent me a great big letter. And let me see if I can get through this. As long as you guys are all jumping on, I'll just go ahead. Um, hi Kelly, because you say you have a bad memory, I will remind you that I am the one who wrote you an email, greetings from Menominee Falls, and you replied that I made your day and made you laugh, and yes, you did. So, um, then I also said to her that she was now in the inner circle of my favorite followers because she really made me, I was reading an email and I just laughed out loud and I told her, you're, you are now in my inner circle of favorite followers. She said, wow, that's almost as good as receiving an honorary degree from Harvard, right? <laughs> and she said, no better. I don't know what about that. Harvard's pretty big. That's a pretty big deal. Um, she says, I'm sending you a card I made. If someone said to me that you can only have one stamp set, why do we play these games with ourselves? It's kind of like if you were stranded on a desert island, what's one thing that you would want to have with you? And did you play that back in junior high? Oops, squirrel. I know, I know. I do that all the time. Well, anyway, my choice would be Magnolia Lane. It can make a stampin' boss out of a raw beginner. And she is very, that is very true. That is a beautiful suite of products. This card is sincerely sent to you for all your cheerful, cheerful efforts at keeping us engaged and connected. I love your reminders to be kind to one another. You don't need no stinking snarky at this time, right? Well, sometimes snarky can be fun snarky, but I think there should be rules at the top of a card making site that says no cranky pants allowed. <laughs> No cranky pajamas either because let's face it, that's what a whole bunch of us are wearing these days. I saw an email that said 8 p.m. is the official time that we change from our daytime pajamas to our nighttime pajamas. Yep. <laughs> All kidding aside, thanks for being you. And she also said, my bet in the Vegas pool is that your last nail falls off on April 17th. Hope I win big money. <laughs> that was funny, right? Isn't that funny? I, yeah, very funny. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for all these really pretty cards. Oh, did I do this one? I don't think I did this one. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Yes, I did not do this one. I got this card from Nancy Clark. Look how pretty that is. That was that um, celebration paper, the flowering foils. Holy prettiness, right? Love this card. <clears throat> And Nancy says, for all of your Facebook Lives, card kits, and hours of enjoyment you bring me, I'm so very grateful that I found you, your videos, especially now. They give me and so many others something to look forward to. It's like catching up with a friend. Never stop the chit-chat at the beginning of your lives. That's what makes you, you, a fan for life. And I have to show you what Nancy gave me. So hang tight, people. I put it off to the side over here. So, Nancy ordered, I think she told me, 12 paper pumpkin kits in March. And she sent me all the stamp sets. Well, not all of them, but a lot. So, look what I have. I don't know what I can do with these yet. I have to contact Stampin' Up! because I'm not sure what the rules are. But, you can bet, I'm, not, I'm certainly not selling them. I hope that I can give them away, you guys. So, Nancy... You rock. 
People are going to love this. And it's all because of you. So thank you very much. Oh, and look at the envelope. Very pretty, right? Yeah, so that's what I got in the mail today. It's pretty exciting. And the fingernails, yeah, that Sherry brought me. That was super, super cool. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And what else? Oh, I have to tell you, we have a winner. So this is my prize from Facebook Live yesterday. I drew names. Now, whether you're watching right now or whether you're watching later on YouTube, click on that share button. That helps me grow my business and I really, really appreciate it. Um, click on the share button and you'll get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Um, here's that paper that, hang on, Nancy made her card out of. See that? Let me show you. Let's bring it back. Here we go. This one made out of that paper, right? She sponged or daubered color on it. It's just so, so pretty. So this is what I'm giving away. Whoops, hang on. This is what I'm giving away today is a, whoops, everything's falling. Half a pack of this beautiful paper from our Facebook Live yesterday. And our winner is thrrr, Terry Mullinex from New York. Yay, Terry. I have this in the mail for you tomorrow. And hang on, these things are falling and now I ran over it with my chair and oh my lord. Okay, let me put this back up here. I promise I'll get it out in the mail tomorrow. I mailed all the other things today. Um, <clears throat> let's see. What else? Oh, um, somebody asked me if I could show you guys how to make this card and that's kind of what I was trying to do today but I never really got it together. So I do have that on my radar. Just know that. That beautiful, beautiful card. I think this came from Barbara. Yep, Barbara, that Barbara sent to Haley. I wouldn't let her take the card home. I hope that you understand <laughs> because it's so cute. And I will give it to her eventually, so don't worry. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, and I have to do shout out to Terry Sampson. If you guys recall, Terry is my friend. Um, and we met online and she lives up near Minneapolis and Minnesota. And when I was talking about flying out of Minneapolis to go to Kansas with my mom and my sister, Terry invited us to come up and stay overnight in her cabin. And then she would take us to the airport and then come back and get us from the airport and take us back to our vehicle. And oh my gosh, it was so sweet. And um, Terry actually sent my mom a card yesterday. And how sweet is that? My mom told me, oh, I got a card from Terry and it was so pretty and it had some tea in it. And my mom loved it, Terry. So you made her day. And then I forgot to tell you guys this, I think. Did I tell you about Jared and Haley and the April Fool's joke? I don't think I did. I think I forgot to tell you that. But um, so, you know, um, yesterday was April Fool's Day, right? And I told you about how Haley used to put the rubber band around the sprayer on the sink and you'd go in the kitchen to turn on, you know, to get some water for my tea. And I'd turn on the water and it'd spray me and I'd get so mad. Yeah. Um, so on April 1st, before Jared went to work, he told Haley, he goes, um, Hey, whatever you do, please don't message me, call me today and tell me that your water broke. If it really didn't, I don't think I could handle that, <laughs> but that would be really mean, right? But it would be pretty funny, but maybe not. So anyways, she didn't do it. So she, she respected his uh, wishes that he did not want that to be a joke. <laughs> and I get it. All right. Um, how was your weather today, you guys? My friend Barb that lives out in Wyoming, they got four to five inches of snow and they have a weather advisory. Like, that's okay in the winter. And she showed me a Snapchat video of it because she lives out in the country. And oh my gosh, it was gorgeous. But not in April, right? Not in April. No. And yeah, so they're expecting more snow. We had a beautiful sunny day. I can tell there's going to be a gorgeous sunset out my window. Um, it was like probably 60 today. And guess what Steve got out? The Harley. And when he, he brings it out of the garage and then he turns it on and he does the run, run, run. Because I don't know why guys, guys do that, but they do it, right? And I went, run, I jumped over all this stuff on my floor because I've got quite an obstacle course going on all the way out the door in my office. And I jumped over all this stuff and ran outside and I was like, oh, the Harley. And I was like, Grr. I love the Harley. <laughs> so it was really nice and warm here. It's not warm enough for me to go for a ride though because 
I'm still dressed like an Eskimo people. Yeah. Um, I'm cold. My hands are freezing. I've got a sweatshirt on, long sleeve shirt, jeans, and my little Eskimo boots. And I'm quite comfortable actually, but my hands are freezing. So um, anyways, I, I told him, I said, you know, when he got back from his ride, I said, well, how was it? And um, he said it, it was pretty nice. I said, what, well, did you get really cold? He's like, no, I got two sweatshirts on and, and he had on, I don't know. But anyways, I told him, I said, don't forget, my Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie, um, she broke up with her a, a while ago boyfriend, and um, he owned a Harley. So she got the jacket, the leather pants, chaps, and all the things. And um, so she gave that all to me, and it all fits, like most of it fits. So I have leather chaps, and I have a leather jacket now, because I didn't buy one yet. And um, some leather gloves. And I'm like, you know, I have chaps now, right? Because, like, I could probably stay warm if we went for a ride. But I don't think I want to go yet because I don't like being cold. I can be cold right here in my office. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> but anyways, I heard that Harley start up. And I was like, Mom! I just went running out the door. And it was so cute because every time I hear him start it up, I'm, like, at the window going, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we are ready to stamp. Um, so, this is kind of funny. I'm going to show this to you first. We're going to be using these dies. And if you're like me, totally off my radar, never even saw them. All of a sudden, one of my fellow demonstrators, Patty Bennett, posted some pictures on our demonstrator website. And so, if you're a stamp, if you buy the kit and join my team, you get to be part of this demonstrator planning place website. And it's where um, demonstrators all over the world can share, or, or discount shoppers, it doesn't matter, can share projects. And my friend Patty Bennett shared the most beautiful cards using Lasting Elegance dies. I didn't even, I'm like, what? Where are those coming from? I don't even know. Like, I had to search all over the place. I did not know where they were coming from. And I finally found them. They're in our mini catalog. They're shown here, right here, on page four. And then they're back on page 18. Totally not on my radar at all. And it's probably because they have this beautiful sentiment set. You know, you can get the bundle. But um, I just don't need a bunch of wedding sentiments. Like, that's not on my radar. But as I'm looking at them, I love the font. You guys know I'm a big font person. But here is the dies. Like, it was like a mic drop. I was like, how did I miss that? How did I miss those dies? That's insane. So, I got them out today. And I played with them. Oh, Letitia says that Patty Bennett is her leader. Well, you are very lucky because Patty Bennett is amazing. Um... I got them out and I started playing with them and I'm going to bring you guys up on my screen so that when I get ready to turn my phone around that we can, I can still see what you're saying, kind of, because you know that when I'm stamping, I can't do all the things. Like I'm just, I'm just not that talented. <laughs> Let's be real. I wish I could. I wish I had somebody here when I'm live that can read me your comments as you need questions answered and so on and so forth, but... That's not reasonable, right? Um, okay, let's see. Wanda says she just got that set. See, you were way ahead of me, Wanda, because I had no, I had no idea, no idea. Okay, we're gonna flip. Marion says, do you buy everything in the mini catalog? Just about, like I buy almost everything usually. And I need to have, because this is my full-time business, my full-time job, I have to have a huge um, supply of different things to keep showing you, right? Because, like, I'm kind of like a store. So I have to be showing you a whole bunch of different things all the time because if I just showed you the same thing all the time, you would buy it and then what? Yeah. So, yes, and it's kind of, it's pretty fun. I have, to, I have to say it is pretty fun that I can buy almost everything in the mini catalog because that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking. Okay, we're going to flip you around now. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I am going to 
make sure all my lights are on. I'm going to flip you around right now. I'll view up my nose there. Hope everything's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Somebody was telling me too that they're watching one of my old videos when I redid my whole room. Like I took this thing down to no woodwork around the walls. I redid the whole floor and all the things. And then I did a tour of my office. Oh, you can open your eyes now. And um, it was pretty funny because somebody said they were watching that video and it didn't seem like me because I was so serious. There was no laughing going on or anything. I'm like, yeah, those videos from a long time ago, blah. I'm a lot funner today. I'm a lot more relaxed too, I guess. Back then I was nervous. I wasn't really sure of what I was doing. And, you know, who knew you guys wanted fun? Because I can be fun. <laughs> no, I am fun. So, you guys know this paper, right? Peaceful Poppies is gorgeous. And there's just so many different colors in here. And I think that's why I love it. I love colorful stuff. It just makes me happy. So I decided to pull in these Lasting Elegance dies. I keep turning it over because I can't remember what they're called. And let's see, where did my catalog go? Hang on. So this is the stamp set. If you want to get the bundle, of course, together, you save 10%. But we've got one die in here that cuts out this flower. And you can tell that because it's grayed out. So anytime you see a grayed out image, that means we have a punch or a die that goes with it. And then also there's heart dies and a flower die. And then we've got all these beautiful greetings and this long stem rose. But look at how pretty that card is. Like that's beautiful. And that's just this stamped twice. Well, six times on the front of the card. Yeah, this is just so, so pretty. So, this is what we're going to do. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use that too. So, you'll see that in motion. So, I decided to pull out my Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper because why wouldn't you? <laughs> right? And I'm going to start bringing... Oh, let me get some layers here. This is just a card front and I'm just going to show you how nicely and easily this cuts out because sometimes these types of dies make they scare me a little bit it's like oh my lord I don't want to be picking things out forever right um, that just makes me crazy so it's it's important to have the right tools right that's what it's all about so I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put this die right down here I'm gonna take this other piece and put it right up here and we're gonna die cut it now oftentimes you know every single die cutting machine is calibrated just a tiny bit different so when I get done doing something like this I will run it back through just because it's you know it's pretty intricate right and then I'll leave it all on there and I'll turn it and run it through this way and then I just find that my bits and pieces come out better. It's just a tiny little extra work but it'll save you a whole bunch of frustration. So hang on, I'm going to grab, whoops, sorry about that. My magnetic platform just fell. Okay, I'm gonna grab my die cutting brush and this is an old paper pumpkin box and I like to keep all this in here because then my bits and pieces stay in here too. I like to leave the dies on my um, cardstock layers because you can be a lot more aggressive with this die brush if you've got that metal there that you're brushing through. And that's why I like to leave this on here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There is absolutely nothing left in these which is a godsend. Here comes, look, look how few little pieces are left in here. So then I take this and I just tap, tap, tap it off. And now I'll come in, I'm not being as aggressive, but all these little bits are gonna come right out. Well, except these two that are gonna make liars out of me. There we go. And we got a few more right there. One more there. Oh, hang on, I just bent that one. That one's being a little stubborn. Little stubborn bugger but the other thing that I forgot to tell you and I'll, and I'll die cut something else too so you can see this but 
Um, I usually like to look at the back of my um, layer before I pull off my die also to make sure that it looks like it's all cut through because if it's not, you can leave your dies right on there and just run it through again and then it will be. But look at how pretty that is. Is that like crazy gorgeous? Yeah, so I wanna show you one more of these dies in here. And I'm going to take, whoops, we're not gonna die cut anything in there. Were you like, what is she doing? She has no idea. Okay, here comes my big shot again. And put my plate in here. Hang on, my crown is falling. <laughs> we can't have our crown fall off. I'm gonna take my Whisper White cardstock, and now I'm gonna take this piece, and this cuts around the edge. So you just gotta kinda look at it. And I'm using my magnetic platform because that helps keep everything in place. And I, it works really well with this particular die. And I think, hang on, let me look at some of the other stuff that I've cut here so I know what I'm doing. I'm probably just screwing everything up. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm gonna bring this in. And, oh, I don't think this piece of cardstock is the right size. Hang on. And it's, oh, it is five and a quarter. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cut out this first. And this is what happens when you don't make your cards up because I have nothing made for you guys. I mean, I've die cut some stuff, but I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. And that makes me a little discombobulated too. And a little nervous because while some people can do Facebook lives on the fly and be really good at it, I, I've i had some mishaps on that. <laughs> like it didn't go so well for me. Look at how cool that is, right? That is very cool. So once we have that, now I'm going to bring this other one in here. So mine was getting too close together, so you can't do them all at once. At least I can't, unless you cut a bigger layer. So now I'm just going to bring this in here and get it. I'm lining it up even with the bottom. And then we're going to run this through again. Now you guys know that when you have an intricate die like this and you run it through the very middle of your machine, it's probably not going to die cut all the way. The middle of the machine is not the best place. And look at this is a perfect example. Do you see? These are all cut out, but this is not. And that's why, again, you should always put your intricate designs on one side or the other because the rollers of your big shot are right here. They're not in the middle. You're going to get more pressure on the sides. And you'll find that if you didn't know that and now you start using that rule of thumb, it's going to work a lot better for you. Oh, somebody must have asked, what is this? This is just a piece of foam sponge. When you order the... Um, die brush adapter for the take your pick tool okay so this is my take your pick tool you can order this and you get two of these in a box and this is just a foam mat this is what the take your pick tool looks like it comes with an extra putty refill and there's some um, other attachments that come with it and then this comes with two foam mats or foam yeah foam pads and it just screws into the end of your take your pick tool. So I have several of these because I use them all the time. And that's what I keep in my box over here. Did I do this twice already? I can't remember because because we're chatting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here comes my piece. I'm gonna keep that on there. Let me get my big shot out of the way. Oh my Lord. Hang on, I gotta put it on this side so there's room on the floor. I don't have a lot of room left in here. I need to get this office cleaned out. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. I'm leaving my, um, oh, remember I told you look at the back of it to see. Does it look now like it's cut all the way through? Yes, it does. You can tell, right? That's super important. I know lots of times people um, take the die off and they go, oh, I just wrecked this whole piece of paper. No, just put your die back on it. Run it back through. It'll cut out. Don't throw away your cardstock. There we go. A couple pieces, look how easy that comes out. And I see I got one little tiny dot right there. And what I love is it's not all stuck in here. That's huge for me, because it's like, oh my lord, look at this mess I have to clean up. Love that. Now, 
This is my paper pumpkin box. I just throw that in there, close this up, all the bits and pieces just stay right in there, and I put it back on my shelf. Okay, look at how pretty that is. Is that not gorgeous? Yes, yeah, so here's another one. So we've got this one where we used both of those. Now we've got this one where we used it with that. So the other dies in here, this die right here, that goes on this piece and you can cut this out, okay? It fits right on here. So that's pretty cool. And then this die goes over here. Oops, there we go. <laughs> Let me figure it out first. It goes right over here so you can cut this whole piece out if you wanted to and just take this piece and put it on a card. So that's what these are for. They're pretty cool. I can never remember how to get these back. I know I've given you tips on how to do it, but I don't follow my own rules. Uh, some people are really good organizers, and they know all this stuff, and then there's Kelly. <laughs> That's me, not so much. See? It doesn't work. <laughs> We're done with that. Okay, so next thing I did is I've got my layers. I'm gonna bring in some cardstock. And here comes my first one. I've got these, I'm gonna set those aside because I've already got this done. I've got this made and I took a piece of our Poppy, Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper from this pack and I cut it four and a quarter by 11. And this is actually going to be our card front. Do you ever struggle with using one side or the other and you can't decide because you don't want to cover up the pretty side but you really want to use this side but you don't want to cover up the beautiful flowers because you're going to glue it down like that? This is the way you can use both sides. You can get the most out of your cardstock by using both sides. So I'm going to take this layer. We're going to do a little bit of stamping if I can find my mat. Here it is. Oh, look at I didn't even change it today. I usually have a fresh one for you guys. You're worth a fresh mat. And then I grabbed some sentiment sets. We have So Sentimental, Thanks for the Laughs, and Peaceful Moments. And I just wanted something that was appropriate, a little bit larger. You could use this, any one of these. I think for this one, I'm going to grab my largest one. And this says, Your Friendship is a Blessing. Rich Razzleberry is what I'm going to choose because I know that's one of the coordinating colors in here. Yeah, and Melody goes, how do we cover up such lovely paper? I know, you just have to buy two packs when you buy designer paper. That way you won't feel like you have to be skimpy with it. That's my, that's my advice. Two packs. Look at how pretty that is, right? And now, let me get this put away. I don't know why my crown keeps falling off. <laughs> She's losing her crown. Uh, liquid glue. I'll put a little liquid glue along the edge here. Oh, look, I see that piece didn't come out yet. Hang on. I can't hold on to it. There we go. Okay. I don't want to get glue all over. Now I have this thing in my mouth. I shouldn't be putting things in my mouth, but nobody's been in my office, so I should be okay. I was kind of waiting to come on live, you guys, because, well, number one, I wasn't ready, but number two, the president was on, so I wanted to see what was going on. And uh, we're not going to talk about it <laughs> because, I don't know, I just think that's a good plan. What do you guys think? Is this not gorgeous? Look at how pretty that is. Okay, look at, this is the back of our card. Isn't that pretty? Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to be smart about this, you could make the, you could, whoops, I'm sorry, I just whacked you guys. Sorry about that. Um, you could, like when we turn our card over, these flowers are all upside down. So you could put your front on here so that when you turn it over to the other side, they'll be right side up. So think about that if you have things that go one way or another. I am going to take some rhinestones because I think that this needs to be blinged up. 
just a little bit and I'm just going to randomly add rhinestones to this card. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, you guys love this. I love it. Okay, so now what are we going to do on the inside? Well, I thought this would be cool. So we're going to put this in there. And put a little glue over here. And now we can see the beautiful inside paper also. Look at that. What do you think? So when I saw these cards online, I was like, what? Where has this been hiding all my life? Like, I, I just, I, it blew me away. I literally gasped because it was so pretty. Lasting elegance dies. That's what they're called. Okay, so I do have some other ideas in mind with this. So let's keep going. Now I've got this one that I cut both of these. I've got this paper. This is eight and a half, whoops, five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. Oh, and by the way, this was four by five and a quarter, this white layer, as is the inside layer. Two pieces of white at five and a quarter by four. This is the inside piece. We're going to take a piece of this poppy paper and I'm going to have the purple side be the side that we see. I'm just going to put this down here. This is my inside layer. I Yeah, I know. I just kind of pulled this idea out of my hinder. You guys like that when I say, oh, I just pulled that right out of my butt. That's kind of sick, right? Well, sometimes I can be a little sick. I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're going to put this on the inside of our card. Maybe you want to use the other side of the designer paper. I don't know, but I thought this looked pretty cool. Make sure you get it straight. I love the pop of white in here, right? Here's the outside of our paper. Now we need to stamp this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I think I want to use Thinking of You with All My Heart. And we are going to use Blackberry Bliss for this one. This is from the um, Poppy stamp set. Where did that go? Peaceful Moments. I'm going to stand up here so I don't get it all jacked up. Look at how pretty. And then I'm going to take this and put it on my card front. Now, you can sit in front of the TV and die cut a bunch of these layers however you want. Just die cut yourself a big old stack of these. Get out your designer paper and stop hoarding it. Because I know you're a hoarder. I know it because I do it too. But I am better about it. Get your designer paper out. If you have old designer paper, you make some cards with it just like this. And I guarantee you'll feel better about yourself. <laughs> and then you can buy some new paper. Because I hear from so many people, oh my lord, I can't buy any new paper. I've got tons of it. Use it. Get it out and use it. Look at that. Just a, just a few rhinestones again. What do you think? Is, isn't it cool? Okay, hang on. I've got another idea. Okay, so I decided, uh, hang on, I gotta get my embossing buddy. I decided to try this on black. I thought, wow, that's really pretty. How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna put my greeting right here, whoops. And then, let me move this out of the, oh, I don't think I need this at all, so let's close it. I'm going to bring in my Versamark ink, and I thought that this long greeting, and I love the font in here, it says, how did I get so lucky to have a friend like you? And I love that. I am going to, oh, let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, close your Versamark. I'm going to bring in. You could use any color of embossing powder, any light color, silver, white, whatever makes you happy, gold, copper. Oh, I got that really straight. I'm like, oh, is that crooked? Nope, it looks pretty darn good. Here comes my old workhorse heat tool. Hang on just a second. I got a little bit. There we go.
See, usually for this, I do the magic of TV, but I, I'm just not that prepared today. I know you guys don't care. It just helps speed things along a little bit. Want anybody falling asleep while we're stamping? Look at how pretty that is. Okay, are you ready for what I decided to do here? Oh, maybe I didn't decide to do anything. Where's my other piece of cardstock? Huh. Well, I swear. So I used that on there and that on there. I thought I had one. Sorry, guys. Hang on. I guess I don't. I'm cutting one right now. This is going to be five and a quarter by four. Here we go. We're going to put this on here. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Did I have something for this? No. See? There you go. Kind of blew it. But I wouldn't even have had to tell you that and you wouldn't know, right? But we're honest here. Now this piece is, I think, three and a half by four and three quarters. And just so there we go. I'm going to bring in some Blackberry Bliss. I just thought this might be really pretty with this color. We're going to glue this on the front. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Do you love it? Now the other thing that I thought might look pretty with these cards is, oh here it is. Oh look it, that is what I planned to use for it. I just don't know where my layer went. Um, I'm going to put this on here so our inside is going to match. I did have a plan, I just didn't realize it. Because I cut it like 20 minutes ago and I can't remember. <laughs> I know, it's bad. It's bad folks. Here comes our inside layer. And of course you're going to want to do your envelope flaps too because you need to use up that designer paper so you can get some new stuff. So make sure you do your envelope flaps with all your designer paper to match. You cut those two and a half by six, glue them on the flap, and trim around from the back side. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is that? Now, I didn't know if this ribbon would look good on here or not. So I'm just going to tie a bow. And then I'll let you guys decide if you like it or not, because I, I, I wanted to give it something else, and maybe the rhinestones will be, oops, <laughs> maybe the rhinestones will be enough, but they might not. This might look nice, and it might be too much, and I'll let you decide. Okay. Gonna manipulate this just a little bit. There we go. You like my sound effects? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out. What about this one? No, I don't like it. See, I didn't even let you guys decide, did I? That was rude. Yeah, I just don't think it really goes any place. I just wanted a little bit more bling in there, but. I am going to put some rhinestones on, just like I did the rest of them, because rhinestones make everyone happy, <laughs> especially when they're on my finger. Look at that. Whew. What do you guys think? Yeah, Lisa said no. I agree, Lisa. It, it's just, it's, it's not going to work any place here. It just has no place. Um, oh, yeah, this is my little one. I was going to make that card like that, but that's okay. I like it like this. So look at that. Doesn't get a lot easier than this as far as like the dye and the designer paper do all the work. Isn't that so pretty? I am going to make up a gazillion of these and get them going out in the mail. I've been sending cards out every day because I have people in my life that I feel they need some cards right now to keep them same. What about this? Nope. I don't like it. That's purple. This has a little purple in it, but there's really no place to put it here. So I cut this out and I wasn't quite sure what to do. 
use pink on black. Pink ribbon, is that what you mean, Joe? Pink ribbon? Yeah, I don't have any. I think we'll be fine. If this was, um, if this was, I cut this out of the designer paper. I cut it out of this one. But if you wanted to, you could cut out a different flower and put it right here. That would look kind of cute, right? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, no sense in making a mountain out of a molehill. This is gorgeous. And I am so happy that I just happened to be online because I don't do a lot of perusing online. You know what I mean? I just don't have time. When I go on Facebook, it's my business platform and I'm working and I'm answering your questions and I'm commenting on stuff and I'm doing all those things, catching up with some of you. But for the most part, I don't go out there and investigate as much as I would like to. So I think that me finding these ideas that Patty had shared was just a complete fluke for sure that I was even on that day. But I absolutely love them and I'm so glad that I bought this because it's so so pretty I really really like that right and what a beautiful wedding card too like these are just mm, it made my day just really made my day now remember if you guys don't have a Stampin Up demonstrator I always appreciate your orders if you would like to order these dies they're lasting elegance dies and you can just type that in in the little search space and they'll pop right up. If you don't have any of the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series paper, please make sure and get, get some. Get two packs. Just buy two packs. You're not going to be disappointed that you have two. That way you won't have to feel skimpy about it. Like, oh, I don't want to use this paper because it's my favorite. What if I find something else that I like? I know. This is how my mind works. That's how I operate. It's like, oh, I don't want to use that up. Like, I still have a whole bunch of this paper because I'm afraid that I'm going to find something that I'm really going to want to make. Look at this. This is that sheet of paper. Well, here. Here's the big... I told you I still have these. Look at that. So you cut this, and then you make a card and a card and a card. You can make six cards out of one sheet. Put a little greeting on the front on a, on a raised up layer and you have the most beautiful card ever and you didn't even have to do anything. Yeah, and then look at how pretty that is. This is so pretty. I love this, love this paper. But that's what I've started doing now is I've started buying more than one pack so that I don't feel like panicky if I use up the pieces of one pattern and I'm going to find something else that I wanted to make and now I can't because I don't have that pattern. Hogwash. Get two. <laughs> Life is short. Get two. <laughs> that will save the problem. I mean, it will save you from that. I'm going to turn you guys around now. Hang tight. I don't like talking to the back of your head. Whoops. Oh my gosh. I thought I pushed something wrong. Look at, look at the state of me. This is what happened when I grabbed my phone. Oh, my crown is slipping. Let me put my crown back where it belongs. <laughs> oh, Joe says she's seen the paper made into cards. It's pretty. Yeah, so I have it. Some... Oh, let me see if it's right here, you guys. I have made some really, really, really pretty cards with that paper. And is this one of mine? Yep, it is. Here we go. Ready? I should have saved this and made it for you tomorrow, but it's all about sharing. Look at that. And again, this little element with this little label, that's all I did. Layered it on black and put it on Rich Razzleberry. So, so amazingly pretty. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This was one of my swap cards when the mini catalog first came out. And I don't even think that I actually ever showed it to you guys, so I apologize. What else do we have here? Here's another really pretty card with that. Yeah, the paper is so, so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. Here's another one. This is really pretty, too. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, let's see. I know yesterday when we were chit-chatting, I lost my little notes. Um, I had mentioned to you before we got done that today, well, this has nothing to do with anything, but today 
I challenged my team members, my discount shoppers and my business builders to do a little Facebook Live and introduce themselves to everybody in our private Facebook group with a Facebook Live. And it's a cool way to be able to get to know people. And they tell us all kinds of very interesting things. Like I know um, who was on a little earlier has a very spoiled dog. So that's kind of cute to know, right? But um, it's a good way to get to know people. And I had started talking yesterday before I left that, uh, oh, one of the things, I'm like, where was I going with this? One of the things I said is tell us a fun fact about you. So I talked about my complete addiction to Carmex. I've told you guys about that before. But um, another fun fact about me is that I used to raise and train and show horses. So when I was a kid, every weekend we would throw our horses in a horse trailer and we would head like 50, 60, 70 miles away to horse shows. And I did Western Pleasure. I did um, barrel racing, pole bending, flag race, um, all the racy things. I love doing the racy things. And I also did Western Pleasure with the same horse, which is pretty unheard of. And I had uh, uh, an Arabian Palomino, and oh my Lord, he was gorgeous. Arabians have so much class. I just love them. And his name was Shane Raffaro, and they have all these weird names because he was a registered Arabian. And um, his name was Shane. Beautiful, beautiful horse. But that's what I did when I was a kid, is every weekend in the summer, we went to horse shows. And then in the off season, my mom would take us up to a town about 20 miles away, and we did lessons during the week. So we went and took horse riding lessons and brushed up our skills for the arena, for the show arena. But it was pretty cool. I was actually ranked in the North Central Wisconsin Horse Association, NCWHA. I was ranked in, in the Horse Association for our district. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, that was my fun. That's what I did. And then when I turned like probably later 15 then boys, and then I kind of quit riding horses. So <laughs> that was dumb. It was dumb, you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's that's what I used to do. So there's my little fun fact. Do you guys have any fun facts you'd like to share? Like, um, I thought it was fun uh, during our pajama party when I asked you guys if you had ever met anybody famous. I always find that interesting. I'm still trying to think, but I don't think I've ever really met anybody famous. I just don't think so. But you guys had a lot of very interesting stories. So, oh, somebody said they just had a, they had a barrel horse. Who was that? Uh, Jamie Kennedy. I had a barrel horse. Never got to compete because we had to get rid of her. She was too high strung. Yeah, my horse was quite a handful. But, craziest thing. I could go into the ring for Western Pleasure. And the other hard part about showing, especially in our circuit, is that, Quarter horses are the favored horse. The judges that would judge all these horse shows, they're quarter horse people. So they're always attracted to the beautiful, big, stocky, bulky quarter horse. And an Arabian is high strung. Their, their features are very um, delicate and dainty. And they're just a whole different kind of horse. It'd be like the difference between a Basset Hound and perhaps like a Rottweiler. You know, they're two very different animals. And so the um, the judges were always more likely to place a quarter horse high than the crazy Arabian. But I could take my horse into the ring and he would be just docile and I could make him do his nice little loping and his nice little trotting where you hardly even bounce and all the things, stop, back up, turn around, the whole deal. And then I could take him into the ring and I could let her loose and race with him. And it was the craziest thing. People couldn't believe that I could do that because you usually can't do that with one horse. You have a docile horse for your pleasure classes. You have a crazy horse for your racing classes. But I did it with him. He was great. Anyways, so that's my fun fact. <laughs> I used to show and train and raise horses a lot of fun. Ah, uh, Susan said she had an Arabian growing up. Yeah, horses were her life also until boys. We're so dumb, aren't we? That was just dumb. 
<laughs> so, um, yeah, Arabians. Melinda says Arabians are beautiful. They are really, really pretty. Oh, my gosh. Patty says she got to visit the Oval Office when George Bush was president since her niece Dana was the press secretary. How cool is that? My husband has an aunt who worked at the Pentagon. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah. And um, Roberta met Al Guerrero. I don't even know how to say that. In Vegas and was invited back to his green room to hang out with him. Who is that? What am I missing, Roberta? I don't even know who that is. Do you miss your horses? Eh, not really. <laughs> Um, no, not so much. You know, I could have actually, well, actually, here's the deal. When Haley was little, like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I don't remember, but I actually took her for horse riding lessons. I thought maybe that might be something that she would have fun with, but we had an altercation at the stables and things didn't go well. And I'll save that for tomorrow. So don't let me forget to tell you about the incident at the stables I'm going to write that down. Haley, stable incident. Incident. I noticed, too, that now that I'm getting more forgetful, I'm having a hard time spelling words. And I've always been just a very good speller. Isn't that weird? Chris met President Reagan at the age of 12 in the White House and sang for his birthday dinner. That is so cool. That is the coolest thing. I'm glad you told me that. All right, you guys. Um, ooh, Teresa had a black stallion. Well, you know, my first horse was a POA, and that's a Pony of America. So it's a little Appaloosa, and his name was Comanche. And then my second horse was a bigger, that was a pony. He was a pony. My second horse was a very small horse. Her name was Princess, and she was um, a paint, which is the splotchy, you know, the big splotchy different colors. And then my third horse was the Arabian Palomino. But we had Princess, the paint horse. We took her to a breeder, and the breeder's horse was a black Arabian stallion. And when you put a black horse and a paint horse together, you get a buckskin. And so we had a little baby buckskin that died during birth. Yes, we never actually had the little buckskin, but he was really cute. Anywho, um... Yeah, I'm just reading all my comments here, you guys. How are you doing? How's everybody doing? Are you getting along okay? I always like to know. Our days are getting, you know, I don't know. It's kind of like the norm that man, I can't go anyplace. I can't do anything. There were a lot of people outside today because it was nice here in Wisconsin. Like, I know down south, 60 degrees would be freezing. But for us, we're almost in shorts right now. <laughs> Except me. But, um... I saw the kids outside playing, and, and when I say that, my neighbor kids across the street, brother and sister, they were playing together, you know, not playing with the kids down the street. But um, it was nice to see people out. I know my friend Rachel went for a really long walk. We have all these walking trails. She went for a really long walk wearing her new tennis shoes and sent me a Snapchat saying that it's really stupid to go on a long walk, first one of the season, with new shoes on. She had to call a friend to come and get her because her feet were dying. <laughs> yeah, so, oh my goodness, Deanne says she is doing fine. She's a director at a hospital. Challenges, but okay. Well, that's good to hear. Teresa's tired of staying home. Yep, me too. I want to go out to lunch. Yeah. What? Hang on. Mindy said she took the field in Civil War reenactments. Hang on, my thing keeps Rare for a woman. That's very impressive. And Michigan K-12 won't be finishing the year. Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, K-12 won't be finishing the current school year. Yeah, I don't think our kids are going to go back to school either. You know, they're saying that this whole thing isn't going to be peaking until later in April. And I can't, I can't see school going back into session myself. And Becky said she's a nurse, so life is just a little extra scary. Yes, and bless you and thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you to all of our um, essential workers. I was calling them necessary workers, but it's the same thing, right? I don't know all the terminology. I just live in my little bubble here in Menasha, Wisconsin. 
<laughs> no, I have been watching the news. I am a news watcher. I like to know what's going on. Um, Wanda played blackjack with Jim Brown, the football player, in Reno. That's pretty cool. I like to play blackjack. I'm a, I'm a pretty good blackjack player. My dad taught me. He was the best. My, we always teased that my dad had a horseshoe up his butt. <laughs> More than you needed to know, I'm sure. Okay, you guys. It's 8 o'clock. I'm hungry. So I have a choice. Spaghetti, again, because my husband makes a lot of food when he cooks. Or, uh, what's the soup? The clam chowder. Spaghetti or clam chowder. What will it be tonight? Last night I was really nice. I made some garlic toast. And I put two pieces in the oven to get it all nice and crunchy. And I made one for Steve. I only had one. I made one for Steve. And then today he accused me of not knowing where anything in the kitchen is anymore because I never do anything in there. And I was like, dude, I made you garlic toast last night. He go and he goes, oh, whatever. <laughs> I ran the dishwasher today. <laughs> That's a lot. I missed a whole bunch of your guys' um, comments here. So I'm really sorry. My phone isn't scrolling like it should be. Diana hates clam chowder. I love it. Yeah. Chris said clam chowder, or Joe said clam chowder. Have the soup. <laughs> Roberta says spaghetti. Sausage, egg, and chips. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Have a little of both. That's an idea, Bonnie. All right, you guys, New Mexico schools won't be going back to, yeah, I don't think, I don't think we're going back to school either. This, you know, this thing is getting crazy now. Yeah. Um, I want you guys to stay safe and stay healthy and take this seriously. I know my friend Lori is in Michigan and it's getting real scary over there. And as long as you stay home and stay away, um, try to do that as best as you can. I want you all healthy and happy and stamping, right? Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go so I can go eat. And then I have to start my projects. I don't even know what I'm going to make for my blog hop tomorrow. But watch for it. This is going to be my kit class for April. Ashley and I are using the Dressed to Impress suite of products. And they're super, super cute. They're really nice girly cards. And I think we probably all need a lot more girly cards right now, too. So... Watch for that. That'll be on my blog in the morning, 6.30 a.m. Central Time, and I may be just going to bed shortly before that. <laughs> it's my own fault. I do it to myself all the time. All right, you guys, have a great evening. I will see you back here sometime tomorrow. I don't know when. Bye-bye.